Hello Bebel Pals, my special VPs. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dr. Emasi. I post videos on the art of verbal interaction with difficult people, how to show zero emotional reaction, and how to be cool, calm, and calculated in your verbal communication with them. This channel will teach you how to be mentally quick on your feet. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for the part two of how to overcome depression, sadness, loneliness, etc. Let me begin with this statement and it goes like this. If you don't fight for something, you deserve whatever you get. Let that sink in. Think about it. Life can be a bed of roses, but maybe you need to fight for it. Yes, for some people, they are spoon fed, but for a lot of people, you have to fight for things that you want, for the changes that you want to see in your life. You have to do things differently. Don't envy those people that are being spoon fed or the people that are showing that their life is so happy or whatever the case may be because behind closed doors you have no idea what's going on they might even be envying you so don't look at people and say oh my god i wish i can be like this or i wish i have this life or look at them unless you are in their inner circle don't ever compare yourself to the image that people display out there because people will show you what they want you to see and that might be so far from the truth anyway in continuation from part one things to do to help you overcome this place of hopelessness or confusion or that life is worthless are if you think that your situation needs more than all these things that I'm dropping in part one and part two then I would suggest you seek medical attention you may need medication and it could be effective now there are some people who don't believe that depression is real or who think that people who commit suicide are evil but here's what I have to tell you please don't talk to somebody who comes to open up to you about these feelings and make them feel worse than they're feeling don't condemn them and don't think that oh yeah they did something it's karma or they're just bluffing not good depression is real sadness is real loneliness is real all of these things can lead people into doing something that they shouldn't be doing they shouldn't have done at all so that's why i'm sharing this here because i want people to be educated about these things so they can watch for them in their loved ones or people around them and not attack them because people might end up suffering in silence rather than opening up and that's actually the worst case scenario one thing you need to remember is that you should not bear the weight by yourself so please talk to people talk to a professional or talk to people you trust well back to the things that the practical things that i was sharing in part one now i just mentioned talk to people you trust i was gonna say talk to people you love but not everybody you love can be trustworthy so talk to people you trust people you can be transparent with and you know that they're also transparent with you they're not suffering in silence and looking at you sharing your challenges why they are hiding the ass those are not the kind of people you need to talk to talk to people who are also transparent who you know you can trust with your feelings and that they will not make fun of you or make things worse for you self-care is another one this is great this is something that a lot of us overlook because we're so busy with life and being a parent and spouse whatever the case may be work so we ignore ourselves but this is very important self-care don't sit around waiting for people to pamper you pamper you yourself because you need it you deserve it i used to think that i needed someone else maybe a friend to go to restaurants to eat with me or to go on vacation with me because i'm an introvert well if i don't know you but that was a lie that was a lie i told myself for so many years until i realized that i can actually go out and enjoy myself i can you know do things as going to get a massage i can go on vacation i don't need someone else to tag with me i am sure that a lot of people are also in this position where they think that they need people especially with the pandemic we're all locked up we're locked in the house or you know we're either working from home or doing virtual schooling from from home so you're not going out you're not seeing people you have to communicate with people uh maybe when you go grocery shopping at least say hi be cordial pe to people don't just walk around as if you're the only one on earth you walk around and you see people you say hi and sometimes conversation begins and that helps that helps a lot with our mental health so think about that another thing i want you to remember about self-care or going out to pamper yourself is that if you're not used to it at first 
it may be awkward but i want you to know that with time it will become comfy like you get used to it because the brain takes about 60 days for some people to learn a new habit and others longer maybe even shorter than that but if you do something consistently over a period of time your brain will register it it will be programmed in your brain you will get comfortable and it will no longer be awkward and it will just be like a second nature so just be patient with these things that you're trying to improve to have a well-balanced holistic you just be patient with them and be consistent and just do them over and over say them over and over to yourself and with time it will just become a second nature now the last no the least piece of nugget that i have for you today is to remember that we all need nature nature is medicinal for your body and your mind we are not meant to be locked up we're not meant to be locked away we are meant to be outdoors to be in there in the woods just like our ancestors but because of technology we are all indoors in enclosed environments or in front of electronics your phone the TV we don't come out and enjoy nature or when we do our eyes and senses are not focused on the things outside which is not good where are our eyes on electronics on the phone right maybe social media youtube whatever it is but that's not good you're going out to enjoy nature for a purpose do it and just give it your undivided attention we need the sun the wind the cool breeze in the evenings the movements and sound of the trees the scent of the flowers you name it we can benefit from hearing even the birds singing or observing the squirrels running around or even listening to the sound of the natural body of water flowing and hitting against each other. So many things out there that we need to enjoy rather than just being locked inside the house or in a building like at work all the time. You can even play with the sand at the beach and mold clay. Whatever it is that you can do with nature, with natural things out there, just do it. Give yourself some time to go out and enjoy nature and make it a habit so that way you can benefit from the natural things out there and let that be a part of your life all of these plus a lot more things that i cannot discuss because of time and i might discuss them in a subsequent video these are all things that can contribute to a more balanced and holistic healthier you so please share this with other people because there are a lot of people that may be suffering in silence that this will help so please share and save a life today now just to recap both parts one and part two don't believe everything you think don't believe in your weakness speak to yourself in the mirror write an apology letter to yourself place sticky notes on the walls of your bedroom form a habit of of enjoying being alone but not lonely medication and therapy can help speak to someone you love about your feelings actually speak to someone you trust about your feelings don't be a couch potato in front of a TV or social media pamper yourself and last but not least enjoy nature nature matters more than you can ever imagine give it your undivided attention that's all i have for you today thank you for watching to the end of this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video to help anyone who may be suffering in silence thank you again for joining see you next time bye bye